Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Today we have the Seiko Prospects 100 meter solar quartz flight computer, model number SSC629. And as usual, we'll open it up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then give you my overall impressions of this pretty, pretty crap. Guys, I'm really sick. I'm having a hard time doing this. So bear with me. We'll, let's, let's try that again. As usual, we'll open it up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of this watch. Now, I'd also like to invite you to become a patron of mine on Patreon. Check out my Patreon link in the description field when you get a chance. You can give a one-time gift or you can give a recurring monthly gift. It's entirely up to you. Give me a ton of money. Give me no money. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. Again, I've been sick for the past week. I've got some sort of flu. So this might not be my, <laughs> this might not be my best review. All right, here we go. Now, this is, a, um, this is a new Seiko box. I like this new Seiko box. You know, I guess they're ditching the old blue box and maybe they're starting with this one or maybe this is just a limited run of, of a new style of box. I have no idea. I'm sick. I, I'm, I'm really not thinking straight, so I really don't know. Anyway, I like it. So here you go. So here's a watch. Comes on a black watch pillow. And this is the new part. Obviously, the, the, the shape and the color of the box are new. So let's also take a look at the uh, stuff inside here. All right. So here we've got some, maybe it's some advertisements. What is this? Warranty stuff. Yep, uh, this is a registration card. There you go. Uh, a rotary slide rule manual uh, for the slide rule on the watch. Teaches you how to do different types of calculations. There you go. Uh, this is your actual manual. There you go. Written in a couple different languages, English and Spanish. And of course, here's your warranty booklet with your warranty card back there in the back. So there you go. All right, let's get all this boring crapola out of the way. Let's talk about this watch. Yeah, guys, I've been sick for the last, gosh, week or so. When you get older, man, it's hard, it's hard to shake this stuff. So I feel like absolute crap. But I'm making a review for you. Let's be honest. I'm making a review to make money. And I'm making a review for you guys because I know you love to see them. So let's not act like I'm doing this as some sort of self, you know, selfless act. I'm doing this to make money. Too. <laughs> I got. I sound like I'm drunk. I swear to God, I'm not drunk. I, I, I promise you. Maybe it's the pain medication, the uh, the cold medication. I don't know what's going on. All right. I forgot to put the watch pillow back in the box. Let's do that real quick. And of course, we'll get some rough specs here for you in a second, and then we'll dive deeper into this thing. I really like this new Seiko watch box. Oh, look. See, we've got the little Seiko logo right there on the corner. Man, this is a really handsome looking watch box. Y'all know I have a fetish for watch boxes. So, there you go. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get the case measurement. Let's look at, uh, look at that, 44 millimeters on the dot. Let's look at the thickness. Thickness is 12 millimeters. Let's look at your lug to lug. Lug to lug, we're looking at 51 millimeters. Uh, let's look at the bracelet. Now the bracelet's gonna taper, so let's start at the top here. And then I'll give you the measurement down at the bottom. So almost 22 at the top, and at the bottom of the bracelet, almost 20 millimeters, there you go. All right, now on the left-hand side, I'll go ahead and pull all the other specs for you. Um, it is, of course, 100 meters water resistant, which is 330 feet. It has the V192 movement in it with a six-month power reserve. You have a tiny date window down there at 430, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, you do have power. You do have a power reserve indicator at six o'clock, and that actual uh, that subdial serves two purposes, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, you do have a rotary, a bi-directional rotary slide rule. Uh, it has a it, God. I can't talk, man. It has a hard lex crystal. Of course, it has Lumabrite. Uh, it has a chronograph function and a 24-hour indicator over there at um, three o'clock. That three o'clock subdial. So those are the basic specs of the watch, guys. I really like this thing. I like the way it looks. Um, it is a handsome looking watch. It's um, really legible, which I like. And I forgot to mention that it has a sub seconds over there at uh, nine o'clock. This main looks like the second hand. That's actually your chronograph hand. And I'll go and demonstrate that. Some people really get pissed off when I don't demonstrate, demonstrate. See, I can't talk today. When I don't demonstrate 
the chronograph function. Everybody knows what a chronograph function is. Why these guys get pissed off about this. So here we go for the guys that get pissed off that I don't demonstrate the chronograph. Here we go. There you go. Wasn't that exciting? Oh my God. I, I was in suspense. How did it work? What did you have to do? Now watch this. Bam. Oh my God, it stopped. Holy crap. This is amazing. Now I'm going to press it down here at 4 o'clock. It's going to reset itself really slowly. There you go. For the guys that get pissed off about me not demonstrating chronograph functions, I just did. So shut your traps. There you go. All right. So <laughs> anyway, all right. You see the dial? The dial is a little busy. The whole watch is a little, is a little bit busy because it's a flight computer. It's got a slide rule. You've got tons of different numbers screen printed all over the game, all over the place. And it's just a little bit busy. But it looks cool as hell. Nobody's ever going to use a slide rule. Nobody's ever going to use a chronograph function. So this watch is really kind of worthless other than telling the time, the date, when you really think about it. When you get down to it, it's kind of worthless. But it's a it's a really good looking watch. It's a well-built watch. But anyway, all right, I'm digressing. So you get all the crap printed on the watch. You get all the crap printed on the dial. <laughs> Um, you've got your sub, you got your sub dials there. This one right here at three o'clock, that's your 24 hour time. If you look at the top, it says 24 hour. And then if you notice on the right hand side of the dial, it's all white. That means it's daytime. If you look on the black, on the left hand side of the dial, it's all black. That means it's nighttime. So from 12, from 24 hours, which is 12 o'clock at night to 12, which is in the daytime, that's your daytime part of the day. And the other half uh, is your nighttime part of the day. So there you go. At the bottom, this actually serves, this sub dial serves two purposes. Um, one, it uh, when you're when you're doing the chronograph function, which I'll go ahead and show you. I'll press the chronograph. You'll see the uh, the hand snap back up to 12 o'clock there, or 60 minutes. This is one of the sub dials when you're using the chronograph function. When you stop using the chronograph and reset it after I think I don't know 10 seconds or something, that hand's going to start pointing back to showing the power reserve indicator. So again, you got six months. I think it's currently at about, right about half. Uh, so this watch has about a three month power reserve left. You charge it in the uh, the daylight. Now the best time to charge any solar watch is, is in bright sunlight. Um, you know, it really depends on the watch, but from 12 to 24 hours of charging in bright sunlight, you're gonna get your, pull, your full power reserve back. Uh, this thing should probably snap back here any second, I'm guessing. Watch it take another minute or something. It should snap back and it'll show you what the power reserve is. It's been a few seconds that I haven't used the chronograph function. So let's just wait. Do, 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 Oh, come on, man. All right, it should snap back any second. Here we go. Waiting in anticipation. Maybe it's like 20 seconds or 30 seconds that it does it. But I'm not using it. There we go. Ah! Look at that. It's at, it's at full. Holy crap. Really cool. All right. So there we go. Anyway. So yeah, that's going to point to your power reserve indicator when it's not doing the chronograph function. There we go. Now on the left hand side, that nine o'clock sub dial, that's just your running seconds because this is your chronograph hand, your chronograph, I guess, second hand. And then that's your normal second hand during normal operation. Now, of course, this is a bi-directional bezel. Goes both ways. All right, keep all the stupid jokes to yourself because I guarantee you if you write anything in the comment section about bi-directional, it's not going to be funny. Leave the humor to me, guys. Leave the humor to me. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, of course you have Luma Bright all over the indexes and hands. I'm going to show you that. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that here in a little bit. I mean, typical Luma Bright is going to be super bright, yada, yada, yada. All right, so you look at the case. The case is 99% polished. And if you also look, you have a really nice slide rule uh, knurling there on the slide rule bezel. Really, really nice grip action on the side of the bezel. Again, most of this watch is, is, is polished. You have some brush sections over here on the lugs, but it's mostly polished. Even the end links are polished. Um, I'm sorry, the end links, the regular links, the, the ends of the links, the sides of the links are polished. On the top, they're brushed. Um, this is one thing that I really, really liked when I saw this. And I think Seiko, I think Seiko actually listened to me. I think Seiko actually cares. I think they heard me bitching about this enough that maybe they actually heard me and did something about it. For years, I've been remarking, when you have pushers, knurl the pushers. Put some sort of pattern and grip on the end of the pushers so your fingers can feel them, so they can have some grip. And finally, they have done it. So I'm really, really happy to see that the pushers at 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock finally have some GD knurling on them. There you go. Really, really easy to grip. Also, the uh, the bezel, which is non um, it's non-screw down. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's not a screw down bezel. This is a dive watch. 
it has some really nice knurling as well. Really, really nice knurling on the bezel. Now, one thing I wanted to point out before I forgot, this date window, guys, is absolutely worthless. Don't look down at this date window and think you're going to be able to tell, tell what day it is or what the date is because unless you're looking at it in perfect light where the sun is directly above you or your light source is directly above you, this date window is so far set underneath the dial that any, for short, any sort of shadow is going to obscure the actual date. So date window, crappy job, Seiko. You really screwed up. It needs to be bigger. It needs to be raised further up to the surface of the dial uh, for it to be really of any use to anybody. Crappy date window. I hate it. Thumbs down. Yada, yada, yada. I hate it. Um, what else? Look at the, let's look at the bracelet. Your typical Seiko bracelet. I mean, it's not going to win any awards. This thing has been around for absolutely forever. Uh, they could they could refresh the box. I have an idea, Seiko. Refresh the bracelet. We need to get a better quality bracelet, even on your lower end models. This this type of uh, this this stamped metal crap. It's got to go. I'm tired of it. I've reviewed hundreds of watches with the stamped metal. I, I want to see it go. I want to see a scissor clasp, a nice stainless steel scissor clasp. Not this stamped metal crapola. I'm tired of seeing it. All right. Man, I'm really in a bitchy mood today. It's because I'm sick. Maybe I need to be sick more often. Maybe that would make these reviews better. God, who knows? I really need to think about this. I need to re-examine my whole life. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get back to the case back. Case back. Boring. I mean, it's screwed down. It's got some, um, it's got some, uh, some laser etched stuff on there that you really don't give a crap about. <laughs> so there you go. Your typical boring screw down Seiko case back. I, I, I'm not, I'm not ragging on this watch, guys. I've just, I guess maybe because I'm sick. I reviewed three million of these things. I know these things like the back of my hand. There's the back of my hand. Um, and you know, I mean, it's nothing. I mean, it's a great watch. Obviously, it's it's very well built. It's going to last forever if you take care of it. It's good looking. It's functional. Um, that's about. I'm trying to think of anything else I, I, I missed on this thing. That's really about it. What else? Um, talked about the bracelet. Talked about the dial. Talked about how crappy I feel. Oh, let's try this thing on. As usual, out of the box. Every Seiko watch, for some reason, fits right out of the box for me. Okay, man, that is good looking. Wow. Nice looking watch. Now, if you notice, this is a, this is a flight computer watch. And I've gotten 3 million requests to sell my flight computer and I'll put up on the left-hand side screen. I will never, I will never ever sell that watch. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Uh, it's an absolute classic, and I won't sell it. So this, I think, is a new interpretation of that, um, and not as good looking as that one. I don't think personally. But this is, and they have a couple different types of these flight computers out now. They have another model out there. I think it's blue. Let me see if I can find that. I'll put that up on the left-hand side of the screen for you. There's that one. And uh, I don't think it looks as good as the original, but anyway, there you go. So, and this is basically their new interpretation of the flight computer watch. So, but this is solar powered. The original was just uh, a quartz battery. It's just a battery powered quartz, uh, not a solar. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, LumaBright. None of y'all are going to be shocked about how bright this watch is going to be. It's LumaBright. It's the best luminescent paint coating, whatever you want to call it on the planet. Nobody does it better. It's not a James Bond reference or a Carly Simon reference. God, I'm really sick today. All right, there you go. Woohoo! Look how bright it is. It's Luma Bright. Really shocking. I mean, just the best luminescent paint on the market. You're going to love it. I love it. I'm sure Seiko loves it because nobody else can seem to make this formula so bright. So there you go. Um, what else? Now, I'll put a link in the description field for how much this costs. It's not as much as you think. But I'll put a link in the description field for you to check this watch out if you want to buy one. And uh, guys, that's about it. I need to take some more medicine. I'm starting to get loopy again. So if you like this video, please click on like. Um, I'm coming up on, our, I think I've surpassed 7,200 subscribers. I'm really excited. Uh, I just love it when you all subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, subscribe to the channel. I'll put a link. Crap, man, I'm really sick. I really need to take some more medicine. Anyway, if you like this video, please click on like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And I've got some really cool, I've got a really, really interesting micro brand coming up. Um, I have a micro brand coming up this week that I think is going to blow y'all's socks off. And then I have another um, watch coming this week that I think you're really going to like as well. So one blow your socks off watch, maybe two blow your socks off watches. 
I'm not quite sure. I don't know what you're going to feel about them. I think you're really going to like them. Okay, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, anyway, until the next reviews, uh, this has been the Seiko Prospects 100-meter solar flight crap. Seiko Prospects 100-meter solar quartz flight computer model number SSC629. Until the next review, I am out of here. Take care. Bye-bye.